Let's take a look at separating coverage types in ExactMate. Okay, so what we have here is a scenario exercise, and in, uh, in this exercise we have some basic rooms, a roof over them. Going over to Estimate Items, we can see that we have a bathroom, a kitchen, a living room. Uh, we have our roof elevation, uh, excuse me, our roof and our front, right, rear, and left elevations. All right, and we also have in this uh, estimate, under other structures, some wood fence, some wood gate, and in personal property, we have a refrigerator that's getting replaced and a mattress and box spring that are being replaced. Okay, now first and foremost, let me get my roof up to the top here where I want it. Okay, now um, I just shifted around the order of my estimate. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that our coverage is separated correctly. This is actually very essential. Okay, now um, here we have uh, other structures and a personal property folder that we've already created. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to delete okay, this other structures folder so I can create it again. It's going to delete the items that were in it too. And, you know, what I did in the beginning of this estimate when I realized I had an other structures or uh, APS, uh, pertinent physical structure loss, is I had clicked on add and I actually added right, an item into the grouping smart list called other structures. This was not here in my out of the box exact main. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like under edit. See the description is other structures, the type is unknown. So I've added that. See here it is, and I'm going to click attach. Now I have an other structures folder. But you know what? I did that a, a tad too quickly because what I wanted to do is I wanted to edit this. Um, you know what? I'm going to delete it, do it again. Here I'm just going to delete this folder do it again here. I'm going to click on add. Uh, I'm going to find other structures. If I just start typing it, it'll come up. Now this is what I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> Before I even add this folder, I'm going to change my coverage type to other structures. Now there's three options here, dwelling, other structures, and contents. So I'm going to choose other structures, detach. Now I've got this folder called other structures. Now if you want to see where those three options came from, that's back here under claim info and under coverage loss. When I set this uh, scenario up, this exercise up, I had three coverage types, right? Dwelling, other structures, and the contents. See, I could have removed one of those if I didn't need it. And I also could have added other coverages if I had other coverages. So that's where they came from. Uh, so back to the task at hand. So. Uh, in other structures, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick search uh, for a uh, six foot high wood fence. And here is our wood fence. Uh, it's a treated fence. And there are 28 linear feet of that in this exercise. And having found this item, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to click on related items <coughs> to find my wood gate. Okay. And there it is. I would gate. There's 10 linear feet of that. And you'll see everything that I put into this folder has a coverage of other structures. See it right there? That is the default coverage type for anything that goes into this folder. Now, in a similar way, I had set up the personal property folder so that it has a default coverage of contents. See? This is very important that these are separated out because this is what happens. If I go to print and I go to view <coughs> and I make sure I'm on the bookmarks option here, I can see that I have three summary pages, one right here and then two under it, one right here and one right there. Okay, so the first one is going to be the summary for the dwelling. Here's my items that are categorized as dwelling. Here's my summary for other structures.
and here's my summary for contents. And this is what I want. It's actually required that you give a detailed breakdown of the coverages. Instead of writing three estimates, you can separate coverage types and get that required breakdown. So I'm going to hit Escape once, and then I'm back at Estimate Reports. I'm going to hit Escape key again. And I want to talk about a potential problem. Okay, so I think I'm done, right? I've got my other structures here. Uh, I've got my personal property here. But let me show you something. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to go up to the living room, okay, and, and I'm going to drag this up here uh, by holding my pointer right at this juncture. Give us some more room to view the living room. Now, here in the living room, I've had a bunch of uh, items that I've added. Contents reset, ceiling fan detachment reset, replace some drywall, so on and so forth. Okay, now, as you go down the line, one of the things that had to happen in this room in order to pave the walls, right, was that the window blinds, needed to be detached and reset. But look what Xactimate did. Even though this folder was set up with the default coverage of uh, dwelling, Xactimate put window blind, horizontal or vertical, detach and reset, they put that as a contents loss. Now in the adjusting that I'm used to, uh, detaching um, your blinds to paint the room, that, that's not a contents loss. There's, there's been no loss to contents. All right, so I'm not going to tell you how to adjust, but I'm going to be changing this uh, from contents to dwelling. Okay. Now, the danger is that if you have a large estimate, okay, with lots of rooms, and you really don't want to have to go through every single room and double check that. Uh, to make sure your coverage is correct line item by line item. So I want to show you how to do it in a global way. Okay, so here, here's what I would do. So I'm going to highlight this lower one right here, the last one before personal property and other structures, living room. I'm going to hold down my shift key, and I'm going to highlight the top one right there. Okay, just like that. Now, what I'm going to do is once these are highlighted, I'm going to right-click on the highlighted area, and that's going to get me to my global changes wizard. Okay, so that's what we're trying to get to and talk about right now is the global changes wizard. So I'm going to go to global changes wizard and I can make global changes to a number of things. Coverage, factoring, taxes, OMP, repaired, tags, and depreciation. I'm going to go to coverage. That's what I want here. Okay, and I want to make sure all are selected here. And I am going to change the coverage for all these items. To dwelling. See that? And hit OK. It's going to check them all and change them. Now I've just made sure that every single folder, room, elevation, everything is coverage dwelling except for personal property and other structures. <clears throat> now if I've got a list of 50 personal property items and I don't want to go through them, I can do the same thing on an individual folder. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to Global Changes Wizard and make a change to coverage on all items in this folder. I'm going to make a change to contents. Hit OK. Another structures. Right click. Global Changes Wizard. I'm going to make a change to coverage for all in that folder. I'm going to change it to other structures. Hit OK. Right. Now what I've just did is I've just cleaned things up here, okay, so that everything in personal property folder is personal property or contents, everything is other structures is other structures, and everything else is dwelling. Okay, these this is one of the steps that I use as a, a final step, one of the process, part of the process of getting close to uh, completing my asset. And I find it more foolproof than trying to make sure that every time I add a line item that I'm checking the structure, or excuse me, the coverage type. Okay, so again, uh, when I go to print and I go to view, I will have under summary, here's everything in my estimate that is coverage dwelling, here's everything in my estimate that's coverage other structures, and here is everything in my estimate that is uh, coverage contents. Okay, so just again, uh, what we did is we looked at a way to globally uh, change and uh, 
check to make sure that our coverage type is set correctly before we complete and submit an estimate to uh, the company we're working for. Thank you.